Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of the What's New features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2018.1, Reference Template Enhancements. Here in Civil 3D 2018.1, we're able to take advantage of the reference template enhancements that they've given us in dot one. Some of the enhancements that they've made is you're now able to bring in not only just EWTs into the reference manager. So if I show you here inside manage and grab that reference tab, we're not only able to reference in DWTs, but we can also bring in DWG information also. So settings and things of that nature from the DWG instead of just a DWT file. Um, some of the exceptions on that are uh, we can't bring in coordinate systems um, and we can't do transformations. We also do not go to the command level of settings. So uh, we're able to set the feature settings, but we're not going to be able to set them at the command level and bring them in. Those settings will not come in. But the feature settings come in just fine. You're able to bring in label style defaults be able to bring in property set data. Uh, we're also able to bring in AutoCAD layers, blocks, line types, and text styles, things of that nature. When we do this, we have granular control over which resources to reference from the DWT or DWG. So we can drill down and just pick just the styles that we want. In the past releases, we were not able to do that. So that you might think if we if we if we did bring in the entire set of styles before you know, we, we needed to purge some of them out. Sometimes they'll make a, a drawing a little heavy. So now we're able to unload and purge those unused reference resources. And that helps to reduce drawing size. And it's very simple to do. So what I'm going to do is take you through a quick demonstration on how to utilize the new reference template enhancements. I'm going to open up a new drawing. And I'm just going to select the AutoCAD template. Inside the AutoCAD template, we won't have any styles. All right, it'll just say standard. So if I go to the settings tab and I look at surface styles here, this is what we're going to focus on today. You'll see that I just have standard for my surface styles. I want to bring in a set of styles to add to my, my drawing so that I can, uh, I can reference them in. Um, it works much like an XREF, but where we'll go to access this is manage. The Manage tab in the ribbon, and we'll select References here in the Styles panel. So this is where we can add an external DWT or a DWG to pull styles from it. We just hit the plus sign here, and I'm just going to bring in to start uh, this DWT that's out of the box, the Imperial NCS DWT, and hit Open. All right, now that I've got the template added, I could go ahead and hit update, but I want to manage some of these settings. I may not want to bring all of this information in, so let's walk through the, the reference settings. So if I look here, earlier I mentioned that we, we only really had this styles tab before in 2017 and even in the 2018 product whenever it released. Now we have settings, layers, other resources, and property sets. So in styles, let's start here at styles and talk about this. We had styles before, but you couldn't really do anything but just bring in all of the styles that were there. So now we can actually drill down. So again, I told you we were going to talk about uh, the surface styles today. So let's just drill down. And this looks much like it does in the settings tab in your tool space. We can actually just pull in just contour styles that we want or contour label styles. Um, I am wanting to bring in just the, or actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring all of these in in the beginning and then I'll show you how we can purge out the ones we don't need. If you see here, you've got some that are grayed out. That's because these are set in the feature settings to a specific feature setting. So these styles are used in the feature settings. So unless we go to the settings tab and tell it not to use the feature settings, these will stay grayed out, but if you tell it not to use the feature settings, then they will they'll, they'll highlight and you can actually check them on and off. I'm going to go ahead and leave that we want to use our feature settings because I want it to override the settings inside of my drawing with these feature settings from this particular DWT. So I can go ahead and, and I could drill down and look at these feature settings. Now let's look at that real quick. If I click surface, you can see here that the default styles that it's using in this template are is this contour is two foot, five foot background. All right. I can't change that here. I can click in here, but I can't change it. It's this is all set in the feature settings of that template. 
So if you wanted to change this, you'd have to go back to the actual template that we are referencing, and you'd have to change it there, and it would update our drawing here. We can also select the Layers tab, and we can look at all the layers or, and, and select any layers that are highlighted here to turn on and off. I can go ahead and check everything, and anything that's not checked here, the dialog, it will check for me. Other resources, so this is where we were talking about the blocks, the text styles, and line types that come in. Um, another way to do this in the past was to use the Design Center and just drag and drop them from another drawing or DWT. But if they are inside of that DWT or DWG that we're selecting for reference, then we're able to actually bring all of those blocks, line types, and text styles in. So very handy to be able to do that. Now, again, we can drill down into the text styles also and just select the ones that we want. So we could have all of the blocks come in and only this text style if we wanted. We also can bring in property set data. So if you have anything inside of your template that has property set data set on it, then you can bring that information also. So we're going to leave this default in the beginning here. And I'll make sure that my feature settings are set. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. And I'll tell it to update. Now, it's going to import all of those settings into my drawing. You can see here on the left in my tool space that it did add all of those styles. Now, you've got a little paper clip here. That paper clip shows that that is a reference style. So that's how you know if it's a reference style or not. So we could start to build some, some information in here. We could bring in some points and generate contours and start to set these styles from that reference template to those contours. So let's do that real quick. Let's just bring in some points. And we're going to make do this pretty quick here. I'll just bring in a TXT file. And P and E Z D comma delimited is the is the point file format. I'll go ahead and create a point group so that I can filter these. I'll hit OK, and they come in. I'll zoom extents. There they are. They're kind of small there, so I'll change my annotation scale to 1 inch equals 20 feet, and you can see that they come in. Once they're in, I'll go ahead and build a surface. We'll just call this EG, and notice that I can see all of my styles that were referenced in from the reference template, so I'll just use this 1 foot, 5 foot background and hit OK. Go ahead and give it my point group for my definition, and we will have a surface in here that we can look at. All right. Sometimes you might have another way that you'd like to represent these contours. So we could go into the template that I pulled these in from. All right, and I can show you that real quick again. We could go into this imperial template and we could change the color or the way that these contours are represented, save that in the template and it would update. Or we may want to add another reference template to bring in a different way to represent these, these contours. So I'm going to go ahead and add another template here that I've quickly made so you can see a difference. I'm going to grab this template here, hit open, and I don't want it to bring in, for sure, I don't want it to bring in the feature settings from that template. I only want to bring in a couple styles. That's all I want to bring in. So I'm going to grab my original template that I brought in, and I'm going to move it to the top. So it's going to read the feature settings from that template. I can just go down and select Manage Reference Styles after I've moved the template to the top that I want to keep my feature settings for. And I'm going to tell it right here, I want it to uncheck everything, and I'm going to just select the styles that I want. Now, you're going to see the styles from both templates. All right, so I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom. The ones I'm concerned with start with an RS, so I'm going to select that I want to bring in my 1 foot, 5 foot, 1 foot, 5 foot FG, and my 2 foot 10 EG and FG contours that have the RS in front of them. Now, under settings, I want to leave the settings alone. It's going to keep the drawing settings that I had before from the other template. Layers, I'll leave this alone. My other resources, I could tell it I didn't want to bring any of the blocks or textiles or line types in. That's fine. All right. And if I had property set data, I could bring that in. Now, I'll go ahead and bounce over here and make sure that these are what's going to come in and you can see that some of them are grayed out because these are already in here and they're set uh, to be default so I can scroll down I'm not going to be bringing anything else in from that template except those styles so I can hit OK and then I can hit update now it'll go ahead and read that other template 
and bring in the two styles that I need. So I can go ahead and hit settings and I can see here that everything is set the way I want. So you can see the, the feature settings held from the original template that I brought in first and you can see that I brought in just the styles that I wanted. This is very handy. All right, and it's, it's definitely a CAD management benefit of being able to just grab specific styles from any template that you want to reference. So what I can do, I can go ahead and just select that surface and I'll, I'll go to my surface properties and change to one of the styles that I just referenced in. So I'll use this contours one foot, five foot EG. You can see that the contours change and look differently. I could use a two foot, 10 foot contour style and it would react the same way. So now, what happens if uh, someone, maybe the CAD manager, goes in and changes the style or the look of these contours in that template that I just applied, all right, or just referenced in? So we're going to focus on, again, this RS Contours 1 foot, 5 foot EG. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. I'll save it out. We'll call this uh, uh, reference, all right? Uh, we'll call it reference template and hit save. So these are saved, right? So the CAD manager will simulate the CAD manager here. He opens up, he or she opens up the DWT that I just opened, all right, or that I just referenced in. And they are making a company-wide decision that the contours are not going to be magenta and cyan. They're going to be red and white, all right? Just something simple here. So I go to the settings tab, I look here for my settings for my Civil 3D template, and I'll drill down and select my 1 foot, 5 foot EG, and I'll edit that. Notice that they are the color that they showed up in my drawing, so I'm just going to change that color, the majors to red and the minors to white. All right, and then what I'll do is just to hard code it kind of is I'll change the line type for both of those to be uh, dash 2. Hit OK. I'll hit Apply and OK, and then all I have to do is save. So that's it's just a typical update to a style inside of a template. This happens all the time in, in companies. So it's something that is has been a challenge in the past to get these updates pushed out. So I save it, and I'll just pop back over to my reference template. Okay. Now it doesn't automatically give you a dialog that comes up that says, hey, you've got something that's changed. But if I go back to, well, num number one, if I save this drawing and close it and open it back up, the changes automatically pop up. And I'll show you that here in a minute. It automatically updates with the, with the style changes. But if I want to see if something has changed, I can always go back to my reference, um, my manager for reference styles. So you can see that under the status for my Civil 3D template, it needs to be reloaded. So I can just hit update. It will go through and, and reread that template and see any changes or make, make changes to this model, what's referencing in from that template. So you can see, I said that I wanted the contours to be dashed and I wanted them to be, the majors to be red and the minors to be white. So that, that change has been made across that reference. Now, I spoke just a second ago about how you could close the drawing and open it back up and when it rereads the template, uh, at initial open, it will take on those characteristics also. So what we'll do is we'll go back into that template and I will change the surface styles back to those other colors just so you can see what happens. So I'll just click here and change the majors to magenta and the minors to cyan. And I'll save that template. All right, and I'll go ahead and close it. Now, I'm just going to close my reference template drawing that I've been working with here, and I'll tell it I want to save. And then I'm going to open it back up. All right, so I'll just pick reference template. And you can see even the preview is a little bit different. Now, the contours show up as they originally were, but when it rereads the reference template, it then takes on the characteristics of the change that was made. Now, notice I just changed the color. I didn't change the line type, so it held that setting also. So very, very quickly, we're able to take advantage of the new features of the reference template. And you can see we're able to drill down and uh, we have a lot more editability, basically more granular control over these resources that are brought in from a DWT 
and a DWG now. So I hope you see the CAD management benefit. It also helps with enforcing standards inside of a company. There's one person that maybe modifies those styles and you don't have to worry about each individual user updating things because that one person makes a change to those styles and then it's carried throughout to whoever has that, that reference template applied. So it's very easy to push out standards and update those standards once they're pushed out. I hope that the information in this video has helped you to understand one of the new features inside of Civil 3D 2018.1. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.